your number one news team covering the North. The Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. Welcome back. In news from the crime beat, police issuing a wanted bulletin for 25-year-old Andreo Smith, also known as Andreo Taylor. He is wanted for housebreaking and stealing. His last known address is number four Gambier Drive. He is described as standing five foot eleven inches tall, weighs 180 pounds with brown complexion, medium build, dark brown eyes. Now once again, Andreo Smith, also known as Andreo Taylor, is wanted for housebreaking and stealing. If you have any information on his whereabouts, you are asked to contact the Lukayan Police Station at 373-1112. In other news, 21-year-old Shamar Moss of number 157 Weddell Avenue appeared before Deputy Chief Magistrate Debbie Ferguson in Freeport Magistrate Court on the charge of murder. He was not required to enter a plea and bail was denied. He was remanded to the Bahamas Department of Correctional Services until March 3rd of this year for a voluntary bill of indictment. This charge is in connection with the murder that occurred on Christmas Day. Meanwhile, 28-year-old Shakirio Jones of Bayshore Road West End also appeared before Deputy Chief Magistrate Debbie Ferguson in the Freeport Magistrate's Court on three counts of attempted murder. He was not required to enter a plea and bail was denied. He was remanded to the Bahamas Department of Correctional Services until April 4th this year for a voluntary bill of indictment. The charges are in connection with the shooting incident that occurred in West End on Christmas Day. Also from the courts, 36-year-old Tamara Camp of number 67 Malibu Reef was arraigned before Magistrate Charlton Smith in the Freeport Magistrate Court on five counts of possession of forged documents this morning. She pleaded not guilty and was granted bail in the amount of $4,000 with one shorter. She was also ordered to sign in at Central Police Station before 6 p.m. every Monday. The matter was adjourned to the 14th of March. And over on the island of Abaco, three males and three females were arrested for possession of dangerous drugs and cultivation of dangerous drugs. Reports say on Monday, the 3rd of January, a team of officers from the Drug Enforcement Unit, along with other international agencies acting on intelligence, executed search warrants on several homes in Marsh Harbor, Abaco. While searching a residence situated on Curly Tail Way, Central Pines, the officers discovered a quantity of suspected marijuana, along with several suspected marijuana plants inside a bedroom closet. As a result, three males and three females were taken into custody and are assisting police with the investigation. In other news, Grand Bahamas Premier Seniors Home is still in need of help tonight. Tonight, the founder is making another appeal. Sabrina Brown has details. The Grand Bahama Home for the Aged has been in operation for the past 32 years. Founder and Administrator Agatha Thompson says the facility is still under renovation post-Dorian. And while she is grateful for the support of the local community, she says more help is needed. We had to gut the entire building due to damages from the hurricane. And um, we had some great assistance. We'd like to thank the Grand Bahama community, all of those who have assisted thus far. And we also would like to encourage them to not to be putting God first as we enter into the new year, my family and the Grand Bahama community, those of you who have assisted us, don't leave us. We need you to continue this journey of God's work. Y'all are God's hands and feet and eyes and pockets to keep this work going. As we are now entering the coldest period of the year, Thompson is concerned about the comfort of the elderly residents as they remain in the preschool area pending completion of the work being done to the main building. January and February are the coldest months, so we're trying to get them to the preschool was designed for infants and toddlers only come during the day. So it's not comfortable for long-term care. So we're trying to get them back up front and we still need like kitchen cabinets, the bathroom fixtures, um, tiles in order to complete and we still need a whole lot of money because those materials still have to be paid for. We need interior doors and um, 
the list goes on and we're inviting the Grand Bahama community to come out, come down, don't just donate, come and see our work, come and see where your money is going. She says the seniors home continues to face major challenges. Building material uh, for repairs, that's the biggest challenge now since all of the recent hurricanes, but our challenges throughout the years have been the financing, the power, the the power, the water, the maintenance mainly, and salaries, mortgages. Our biggest challenge really was having that mortgage with the Bank of the Bahamas, who with, uh, you know, we had insurances, but um, we weren't able to use it because we were the default with the mortgages. Operating a nonprofit organization, you sometimes have to take from Peter to pay Paul. You sometimes have to juggle because the funds are just not there, you know, and we don't want to turn people away. We do get assistance from the government. We have an annual grant. We also get donations. Owner of Third Dimension, Fred Black, has answered Thompson's call for help. I have been uh, instrumental in doing the work here. Uh, material, putting, giving her advance on material. Sometimes I have to pay the, pay the workers them here. So if the community can assist Ms. Thompson, I think that would be a great help to the community and take a little burden off the old fella. <laughs> Sabrina Brown, ZNS Network News. And now it is time for a check on sports with Jay Philippe. Good evening, I'm Jay Philippe and welcome to Sports. It was a busy weekend in sports to start the new year with the NFL Week 17. Also, Buddy Heal and the Sacramento Kings. Let's start this one with the hometown boy. Defense. In the NBA, sharpshooter Buddy Heal had perhaps one of his best games of the season, landing seven triples on Sunday. Heal finished Sunday's 115-113 win over the Miami Heat with 26 points, 9 of 18 from the field, 7 of 14 from the three-point line, and 1 of 4 from the free throw. He also had six rebounds and three assists across 33 minutes. He broke out of a slump in the win, drilling a season-high seven triples en route to a team at 26 points. It's been a wildly inconsistent season thus far for Heal, with his playing time a lot completely relying on a shooting stroke. Up next, Buddy Heal and the Sacramento Kings will travel to LA to take on LeBron James and the streaking LA Lakers. Sticking with hoops action on the European scene, Kenton Smith, the former St. George's Jaguar and current national team member, is having a pretty productive year in France, playing for his Garon Avenger team in the French NM2 League. The 6'8 forward provided this recent update. The season's going pretty good for my team. We're currently in second place in our division. And for me personally, the year started kind of slow, but I've had 20-point double-doubles for the last three games and bringing my averages up to about 16 points and nine rebounds a game. So hopefully I can get it to a double-double and keep uh, going on the pace that I'm going on now. We look forward to getting to that first place position and moving up into a higher division next year. And finally in sports, week 17 of the NFL season was an interesting one with many playoff implications on the line. The Green Bay Packers demolished the Minnesota Vikings 37-10 to wrap up the number one seed in the NFC. Rookie Trey Lance threw two touchdown passes in the second half of his second career start and the 49ers closed in on the playoffs with a 23-7 victory over the Houston Texans. Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills pulled away with a 20 29-15 win over Atlanta, which eliminated the Falcons from contention on Sunday. And the 10-6 and six Bengals are finally back in the postseason after Cincinnati's dramatic 34-31 win over Kansas City to clinch the AFC North title. The Arizona Cardinals were able to hold off the Dallas Cowboys 25-22 in a matchup of playoff teams. And the Tennessee Titans are dancing as back-to-back -back AFC South champs, clinching their second straight division title Sunday, snapping the Miami Dolphins' seven-game winning streak with a 34-3 win. And that's a quick check on sports. I'm Jay Philippe. Be blessed.